there, I'm Melissa with New South Tables. Thank you for joining me today. This pan fried squash recipe keeps things very simple. The flavor of the squash shines through by giving it just a slight dusting of flour, salt and pepper, and a little onion to go with it. The slight caramelization brings out the sweetness of the squash, making it so delicious. Let's head into the kitchen and get started. You'll begin with four to five yellow squash and one onion. Cut off the ends of the squash and slice horizontally. Remove as many of the seeds as possible. The seeds tend to make the squash a little more slimy. Remove as many of the seeds as you can and slice into bite-sized pieces. You'll repeat the process for the remaining squash. Now slice the onion into bite-sized pieces as well and add to the squash. You'll toss this to combine well Add one half teaspoon of salt, one half teaspoon of black pepper, and one tablespoon of self-rising flour. If you don't have self-rising flour, you can use all-purpose flour. Now add enough olive oil to slightly cover the bottom of a cast iron skillet, and when the oil is heated, Add the squash and, and cover. Don't disturb it for about eight to nine minutes. Now remove the lid and check to see if it is browning. If it is, gently turn over the squash in small sections and leave the lid off at this point. If the squash seems to be too watery, just sprinkle over a little more flour You'll continue cooking this, checking it every three to four minutes. Don't stir it too much. Just flip it over from time to time in small sections. And you'll do this as it browns on the bottom and caramelizes. You see how it's caramelizing on the bottom? We're just flipping it over in sections.
Now the amount of caramelization is totally up to you. Cook it until it's at the desired state that you like it. Once you have your desired color and texture, you can remove it from the heat and serve. <laughs>